area back roads lasted for 24 years, and yeah. it was one of the longest running, one of the most popular popular regional shows in the Bay Area, or even nationally. So yeah. how would you explain that? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it, it's a good question. Hopefully those of us who worked on it, uh, you know, over, over those 24 years, Jerry Graham, who was the original host, uh, and his team, and then my team uh, for about 16 years. Hopefully we did a you know, reasonably good job, and we, we certainly tried to do it. But I, the main reason, I think, is that the, the show really celebrated where we live. It gave us a chance as a crew to wander around and find uh, the places less traveled, less visited, to put the spotlight on fascinating people who had great passion for where they lived, what they were doing, could show us nature, history, food, wine, culture, all these wonderful ingredients that make up the, the, the vast, wonderful stew of the Bay Area. And I think that, uh, you know, as, as we did that, people found places they could explore, they could learn about their history, they could learn about their environment, uh, all the various cultures that live here. And, and I think that's one of the reasons that many of us have chosen to be here is that we live in this incredibly beautiful place, this incredibly diverse place, the whole world lives here, and uh, you know we're willing to put up with traffic and we're willing to try to pay the higher prices in order to live in this magnificent place, and Backroads was really the place where those, those, ing those elements were uh, spotlighted. So I think that people uh, kind of love to do it and then they could armchair travel or plan their next trip. Well, I certainly know I traveled by armchair. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we might have a theme. Do we have the opening? to the show that we could uh, show just for those who, <laughs> to bring back some memories. I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. I've known so, Wendy and there you Takuda are. for there quite a long some time now, location. 20 yes. years. And so I, anyway, I we don't hear it in when the studio, but we the know news it's or there. Reporting her and um, so how many shows do you think you might have done in all? Oh, my gosh, Henry, that's a really good question. Oh, you know, we, um, you know, at one point I tried to count them because we were doing, uh, you know, in, in some seasons we would do 22 new shows a year, and then in other seasons we did 44. Oh my! You know, and and we did that consistently for all those 24 years. So I, you know, math isn't my best topic, <laughs> but I tried to do try to do the math and, and kind of figure out how many how many shows. But it was truly it was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and thousands of stories. And uh, and and you know the great. So for me personally, I grew up in California. I was a backroads kid. My mom and dad loved to go and explore. So I was really doing what I would do if I didn't you know have to work for a living. And uh, so I felt like the luckiest guy in the world. And, uh, and I got to meet all these magnificent people along the way, which were, and they were really the stars of the show. I was sort of the, the guide and the person who was around. But, you know, the real stars were all those wonderful people, you know, as we met you, and we'll see a little bit later on. You know, as, as we meet great people, they're the stars of the show. We like to get out of the way. And so I figured in the end, we, we had thousands and thousands of people that we had a chance to meet along the way and to feature in the program. And I always wanted to do a party where I could bring everybody together in one place, all these really fascinating people. Some of them may have known each other, but just to sit back and watch these fantastic, interesting, passionate people get together and really meet each other and start to talk. So is that an idea that's gone, <laughs> to bring everybody? That would be fantastic. It would be, it'd be wonderful. And of course, you know, over the many years, we've, you know, we've lost many of, many of those marvelous people that we got to know. Uh, but many are still with us, of course, and, and um, I, you know, I still love to do it. When we did the 20th anniversary show for Backroads, we shot it in one of my favorite spots in the Bay Area, uh, which may be a little surprising to people. We shot it on Alcatraz. I have a, you know, I've always had a fascination for Alcatraz and its layers of history and nature, not just the prison years, but many other things. Um, and so when I was trying to choose a place to do this, final, this 20th anniversary show, we were allowed by the Park Service, our good pals in the National Park Service, to have uh, to shoot on top of the penitentiary. Ah. And so that was great. So I was able to uh, execute kind of a, a smaller version of my grand scheme. I was able to bring together about 100 people that we'd had on our shows over the years, people that I, you know, admired and respected and enjoyed and put them together. And so that was sort of a small version, a smaller version of that grand scheme of mine. But I'd love to come back and revisit that party for all. Yes. Well, you can put it all in a book. And you put <laughs> it all in a book. Have you put it all in a book? We did. Well, we did. We did a, uh, you know, a Barrier Backroads book that we uh, published in the, around 2000, 1999, 2000. And thankfully, it, you know, it was very popular. And, and uh, 
uh, sold hundreds of thousands of copies, which was terrific. And again, not so much because it was well written, but because it featured the um, you know these marvelous places that gave people ideas and tips about where to you know where to go. So. Yeah, but there are many other books I could write. Uh, if anybody would read them, would be another. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Oh uh, well, it depends on how well I write them. Uh, but uh, you know, no, there. I think the the great joy for me in this was I I love I love school. I love learning things, and I loved exploring so I could find things out. And so for me, Backroads was a well, sort of like a, a field trip every day to, sure. to some place. And I came back and was always kind of, I always described it, you know, my crew and I would go on field trips and then we'd come back and give the class report the next day. And so we saw the class report. So you guys we saw the went, class. We saw the results, the fruits of that field trip. Yeah, but there was always wonderful outtakes. And oh, so, uh, yes, So I think yes. if I could go back and comb through everything ah. again and begin to tell some of the stories that literally didn't hit the air, then, uh, you know, who knows, there might be something yes, in there. Yes, you probably have a treasure trove. I, I well, I, I, I think so. Well, all good things have to eventually come to an end. Yes. And and Bay Area Backroads came to an end in what, 2009? 2009. And why? Well, mm. you know, a good question. The, the program was still pretty, pretty popular uh, after all those years. Uh, but our television station, Channel 4, uh, was at that time, uh, you know, encountering tough economic times. And uh, the station uh, filed for bankruptcy at that point and then has come out and it's still, still there. A lot of good people still working at Channel 4. But it, that was one reason why the show, you know, sort of had to had to come to an end. It couldn't be sustained by that television station, unfortunately. So, uh, but I was able. I have the rights to everything we shot, so I was able to um, uh, raise just enough money <laughs> to uh, put together a new series, uh, growing out of our Backroads library, plus some new material uh, that we called uh, Open Road. And is that, was that a part of Open, Open Road TV? That's it. We have a link. Uh, ah. Can we see the link to Open Road TV? So why don't we talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, 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 we look at the link. No, it's yes. good. Well, we, um, you know, we put together this uh, the, uh, television series. Uh, KQD was our, that was for public television, was and still is our partner. And uh, uh, we did a series that uh, has aired all, all over the country, uh, Open Road, Exploring the West with, with Doug McConnell. And we have a companion website, so if you go to op you know www.openroad.tv, yes, not .com or .net, but .tv, dot .tv as in television, openroad.tv. And we're hoping to pull it up eventually. 